Hey YouTuber, uh, welcome to another exciting tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to tell you a little bit about this HackerTest.net site that I found. It's pretty cool. Um, it's it's kind of like a hacker simulation, um, and it's got 20 levels. Basically, um, you start with level one, and you try to crack uh, or hack the website. And uh, once you succeed, you progress to level two level three, so on and so forth. So it, it's kind of like a hacker pen test simulation. Uh, it's not a full one. Basically, it, it just kind of touches on JavaScript and PHP client side hack. Um, but uh, for the sake of uh, beginners uh, and uh, a little bit of fun, it, it's kind of cool. Um, but the, the great thing is that this is a legal site so that you don't have to worry about, um, you know, the uh, legality of hacking a website because you never want to uh, hack a live website without getting someone's permission but in this particular case hackertest.net is a legal site so it's kind of cool um, so uh, basically I'm going to be setting up 20 tutorials for from level 1 to level 20 that way you have a separate tutorial for each level and you can come back to it if you if you're having problems uh, hacking a certain level or something. Um, but uh, I'm going to start off with, this is going to be level one, so if you haven't done so already, go ahead and go head over to uh, hackertest.net and, and play around with it. Uh, basically, it's client side, so it's all, um, most of, you know what, actually, um, I don't know that because I've made it to about level 14, so I don't know what the remainder six level has entailed, but so far, uh, it's uh, from what I'm seeing, it's client side. Um, uh, pen testing and it's mostly JavaScript and PHP and uh, HTML hacks. So um, again, it's a legal site. Uh, so head on over there. So um, if you haven't already, uh, pause this video and um, get over there and, 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 and practice around and play around with it. Um, but um, if you have uh, and you just want to see how it's done, uh, just continue watching the video. Otherwise, I'm just going to continue with the tutorial. So, fair warning. All right. So, level one uh, basically doesn't really tell you what you need to do. It just says here there's a password here and there's a little uh, snippet of Webmaster's um, opinion on uh hackers so uh, go ahead and read that if you want but uh, looks like there's no other instruction just says password and you just got to enter a password so basically first thing you want to do is see what kind of error message it gives back to you so I'm just gonna try something so basically if you enter a wrong password I know that it gives you this little box here that says try again so let's go ahead and look at the source code and oh by the way I'm using uh, Google Chrome, uh, if you haven't noticed by, by now. Um, you can use uh, Firefox or um, Internet Explorer if you want, uh, but uh, it's going to be the pre pretty much the same concept. It's just going to be different uh, different areas where you can go um, hit the configurations for JavaScripts and stuff like that. So I am using Google Chrome. Uh, so in Google Chrome, in order to look at the source code, uh, you have to right click and go down to view source code. Um, all right, so let's take a look at this. So the first thing you want to do is Control F for find, um, and you want to find certain keywords because um, f within some of these codes, because a lot of times um, there are good developers out there, there are bad ones, um, and not saying that they're bad, but uh, pretty much they don't know, I guess, uh, much about security or how to secure the website and stuff, and um, the common person can just pretty much view the source code and if you don't configure the source code where you can't see the password which I'm pretty sure this is what level one's entailing um, you're gonna crack the, the code pretty quick so um, we know that this <clears throat> source code is gonna entail some JavaScripts in it uh, we also know that there's HTML so uh, first thing we want to do is look for keywords like password <clears throat> Excuse me. So we know that there's five instances where there's password. Second thing we want to look for is function. So of course functions right here. Um, so let's see how many instances of functions there are. So it looks like there's two. There's a check, function check, and a function password. 
So this actually looks like the box that we just saw uh, where you entered a password. The second instance is a function check. And here's our try again alert. So basically, we have a little function here. And, uh, and this function is saying, if a certain value is equal to A, go to this particular website. And I'm guessing this is, right here is level two. So A is actually a variable up here. And variable A is equal to null. So there we go. I think we just cracked our first level. That's, let's see if it's right. No. Ooh, okay, that's new. No again. Bingo, level two. All right, so hopefully you guys learned something from that. Uh, if you did, subscribe and like. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, go ahead and click on level two or check out level two and see if you can crack it. And, and if you can't, just go ahead and head over to um, my tutorial on level two on hackertest.net. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.